Here we're going to look at the concept of equivalent fractions again. This time we'll be trying to figure out whether two fractions are equivalent. Um, and sometimes this is really easy. Okay, so in the case of, say, you know, one-half, four-eighths, you may not be doing any math at all, um, even in your head, because you might just look at this and say, well, okay, uh, I understand that four out of eight is exactly half, and so, of course, one-half and four-eighths are equivalent fractions. Um, but I think it's fair to say that in these two examples here, um, it's not clear whether the pair of fractions is equivalent. And so because every fraction only has one uh, way to write it in lowest terms, that is a strategy for figuring out whether two fractions are the same or not, is by writing them both in lowest terms. If they have the same simplified form, then they are definitely equivalent. If they're different, then we know they're different. So let's take 45 60 thirds and 40 56 and write them both in lowest terms. So 45 60 thirds, um, well, let's see what goes into both the top and bottom evenly. Well, these are both multiples of 9, so I should be able to divide the top and bottom by 9. And when I do that, I get a 5 on top and a 7 on bottom. Let's see on the bottom, the greatest common factor. Well, let's see, they're both even, so 2 definitely goes in, but I'm recognizing both of these as multiples of 8. And so let's go ahead and divide top and bottom by 8 and see where that leaves us. On top, 40 divided by 8 is 5, 56 divided by 8 is 7. And so both of these fractions. Um, are written the same in lowest terms, so of course they must in fact be equivalent fractions. They must be the same. So these two are definitely equivalent. Do the same thing for these two. 24 50 fourths, 18 36. Uh, 24 50 fourths, um, well, let's see, these are both multiples of 6, right, because uh, 24 divided by, or 6 times 4 is 24, um, and 6 times 9 is 54, so that's going to give me a fraction of 4 ninths. Um, and then 18 36, um, well, it turns out that 18 actually goes into both of these, but I think what might be a little more natural here is to understand that 9 is a multiple, or, or these are both multiples of 9, and so that would give us 2 fourths. And you can already see the fractions are not equivalent, but then let's reduce it the rest of the way. And we end up with 1 half. And so because these do not have the same simplest form, um, we know that they are not equivalent fractions.